hello guys uh, welcome to lecture four so as you already know we were talking about lexical analyzers and uh, in the last lecture we have uh, seen something about uh, transition diagrams and regular expressions right so uh, today we will continue from there and uh, try to visualize something called uh, finite state machines or finite automatas all right So uh, uh, we will first learn about uh, types of finite automata uh, and we will uh, uh, explore the first type of automata called a non-deterministic finite automata. Alright, so uh, let's start. I'm a Jodhul Monohai Shitotse upon the theory of computing course that you already know something about finite automata. So we will just uh, review about those and uh, uh, scheme over uh, each one of them. Uh, and I hope everyone of you will understand this finite automata without any hardship. Okay. So uh, if if I want to uh, define finite automata, finite automata can be defined. Korte chai. Ta hole amra bolte pari je finite automata are recognizers. They simply say yes or no about each possible uh, input string. Okay. So the question is, amra ta kano finite bolte si, amra ta kano automata bolte si. Automata bolchi because it automates something. Automate something mano chhi it can uh, put a condition on something. Okay. Our finite bolchi kano because there is always a finite number of states or finite number of conditions that we can check in an automata. Okay. So that's why we call this as a finite automata. So uh, finite automata ke amra khub. Uh, छोटो एक टा थियोरेटिकल मशीन ही शब्द चिंता करते पड़े जे आमा के कोनो एक टा स्पेसिफिक इनपुट है रोपोर एक टा यस और तो बनो आउटपुट दिवे ओराइट सो फाइनल ऑटोमेटा इज दैट सिंपल अच्छा सो आमने जो कौन फाइनल ऑटोमेटा कंस्ट्रक्ट कोरी इन दैट केस वी यूज एसेंशियली ग्राफ्स ओराइट ओके सो अलोंग विथ सम uh, and do it a actually mean I am like a specific automata is a finished okay num the all right okay so let's uh, explore into these types of finite automata so finite automata camera channel to do have a back we act like a bully which non-deterministic finite automata I'm going to take a bully deterministic finite automata so you did define quote the chai uh, uh, non-deterministic finite automata or NFA data uh, this is uh, more theoretical so uh, that means there are no restrictions on the levels of their edges so uh, restriction thakar na thakar ortho chhe amar uh, eki uh, input er karone athoba eki uh, symbol er karone i can go to multiple states one and second there can be uh, null inputs in nfas okay so as far as you know if you will see that can see that a null input into actually physically common power possible now right right so that that means uh, in any finite automata or any automatic situation you cannot actually wait for a null input right so you have to uh, uh, imply it or you have to derive it instead of uh, actually accepting it so that's why uh, non deterministic finite automata is kind of theoretical not a very practical approach and the second thing is uh, sorry due to different input if I go to some uh, common state then that's also uh, definitely very uh, uh, confusing right and very ambiguous so non-deterministic finite automata is generally uh, do not have any restrictions and they are more theoretical than having practical values okay all right the second type is called deterministic finite automata. So deterministic finite automata idea would say for each symbol of its input alphabet, exactly there will be one age with that symbol leaving that state. So the amateur protect another input symbol, you know, there will be one unique state. Okay. And uh, interestingly, in deterministic finite automata, there will be no epsilon inputs or there will be no null inputs, right? So the uh, deterministic finite automata or DFA are more practical in sense of uh, finite automation. All right. So uh, in this lecture today, we will try to uh, explore the context of non-deterministic finite automata. Okay. 
so uh, non determinist finite automaton or nfa consists of these five things okay so let's see what are these things so the first thing is uh, a finite set of states s so act a finite uh, set of states s uh, countable shankhok, uh, shankhok, uh, state of one note thang me second hoche, a set of input symbols sum so I'm uh, uh, input symbols ke sum the uh, uh, symbol tasa shere the represent kori okay? so the input, input alphabet okay? so we assume that epsilon which stands for the empty string is never a member of epsilon remember epsilon jodio Amadir NFL mode act a valid symbol. Still, epsilon is never a part of my alphabet. Okay, so that means our possible symbol hoche the union between my sum and my epsilon. Okay, so a transition function that gives uh, the third thing that we need is a transition function that gives for each state and for each symbol in summation union epsilon a set of next states. So, I'm going to say a transition function is a condition J am a K cone state take a cone state a job I'm on at the information the way okay uh, for which symbols for the symbols epsilon uh, union my original uh, input alphabet okay the fourth one is I'm a finite uh, set of states takes it she finds the set of states are going to act the state s not jake amra initial of the start state bully tamon hoche amar pattern jeta ase seta ke amra check korbo tokhon initial state theke shuru korbo okay all right and the last one the fifth one is a set of states f a subset of s that is distinguished as the accepting states or final states so tamon hoche jekhane giye amar spelling ta uh, we determine this is correct seta ke amra bolchi final state or accepting state so uh, let's start we start with an example okay so this is a, a very uh, uh, common and very easy regular expression a or b star a double b okay so we want to create an nfa for these uh, regular expression okay so remember an nfa consists of two things one is my transition diagram or uh, nfa transition diagram and the second thing is an nfa transition table okay so these two things combine to create my nfa all right so uh this is the first one this is a transition diagram for my uh, nfa and uh, the question is how have we drawn it so i'm gonna again on the argue slide i'm uh, transition diagram draw coach nfa transition diagram is exactly the same so we are uh, uh, using the different operators of regular expressions to draw different states and different transitions within all of them so for example here amader prothom je symbol ta she symbol ta ase hocche a or b right and there is a star in there tamon hocche there can be infinite a's or infinite b's so that can amra amader start state theke zero number state e a er jonno loop korchi b er jonno loop korchi fine pretty fine uh, er pore, uh, a, a, a character or we are getting the first character which is an a right so that can i'm a zero number state take a air juno no to nectar state ABC, which is one right okay tarpur amra patshio check a b so i'm a one take a b air juno actor no to state ABC, which is two and finally last j beta says at a two take a three takes a b air juno and as the spelling ends in this position so that's why three is our final state okay so this is a, a transition diagram for my uh, given regular expression okay so let's break it down and see how this happens so uh, uh, this part is the first uh, uh, transition diagram for a or b star right so as we have seen in the last class i think this is very clear to you why uh, this loops uh, into itself it are loop color act much for current who say j2 i mean zero number start state take a should go to see act among second there is a start there that means the whole pattern can repeat zero times or infinite times so if you think that i can do the ami zero number state take a zero time a or to a b pi that means i am already at state zero right so that means I mean zero number is you know jato bar j state is actually i'm a infinite bar is you know i'm okay she's steady post it over right 
so that's why we are doing a self loop of a or b to make sure j i mean a of b zero bar of infinite bar pi i am always at the state zero all right okay so in the next step uh, we will uh, see j a or b star eta shata jit akhon amna end a kochi tokhon amna der uh, nf eta kamon hoche uh, transition diagram ta kamon hoche so uh, we already have got a or b star so air pore a jita as eta again to end of the as right so tamon hoche if there is uh, one a exactly one a then we will uh, transit to some other state right so that can number zero number state take a jita a pi choto hatha a pi ta hole ami ekta notun state a kisi the state is one right okay so let's move on. Air pore amna pi si hoche end obosthe arekta b. So now amna one number state theke b er jonno arekta notun state karam, which is two, right? Fine. Uh, so let's move on. Air uh, pore amna two theke abar last arekta b pi lam. So she two theke b er jonno amna three number state karam. Ekhon as my uh, uh, spelling has ended, my pattern has ended, and there are no more characters left. So that means three is my final state. So tamne shoja pa shay. Amar uh, character ta, sorry, our spelling ta, last character J state is shows that our final state will be. Okay. So this is a very simple transition diagram for A or B star A B B. Fine. Uh, still, there is some part left. J, uh, amra, we have already created my transition diagram, but our NFA includes a transition table too. So now we will see how to create a transition table. So a transition table by definition, uh, we can also represent an NFA by a transition table whose rows correspond to states and whose columns correspond to the input symbols and epsilon. The entry for a given state and input is the value of the transition function applied to those arguments. If the transition function has no information about the state input pair, we put an uh, empty st uh, set or shy in the table for the pair. So, uh, so uh, this is there to understand. So, uh, uh, this is there to understand. So, 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 this is there to So, let's see an example and you will understand it pretty easy. So, uh, this is the transition diagram. This is a uh, sorry transition table for my regular expression a or b star a double b. Okay, so uh, let's see a breakdown and how things work here. All right, um, now let's uh, take a step by step look for uh, the creation of the transition table for uh, a or b star and a double b. Okay, so we already uh, have got our uh, uh, transition diagram right. So now we will just uh, uh, translate it uh, into a transition diagram okay so uh, let's check this out so you see um, here what we have done is uh, uh, for example uh, our row and mode has a chance state number gula man who chama the node number gula so for example there is zero there is one there is two there is three and so on okay our column and mode has a chama the input symbol gula so to calculate that, we have possible input key as a or b, and as it's an NFA, so we will uh, have an optional uh, uh, input symbol which is epsilon, right? Okay. So now let's see how this happens. So I'm gonna just a cool question. So I'm gonna figure that just dekhar dorkar je zero theke ami koon input er jonno koon state jayte pari, okay? And uh, if we create sets of these states, then we have created our transition tables. So pretty simple. That can I'm a zero number state take for the input a. We can go to two places, right? So one is zero, and another is one. So that can I'm a zero number state take a input a jono kotha kotha kisi zero number state take kisi one number state take kisi. That's simple. Okay. So airport that can zero take I'm giving b by. Where am I going? I'm going uh, as there is one self loop, simple self loop, so that's why I'm going to zero, right? Okay, uh, and modular is zero number state. The camera with the epsilon pi, the whole I'm going to have a way to calculate that can a zero number state. The epsilon is going to be the corner transition night, right? So that's why zero number state. The epsilon is going to be the legacy phi or empty set, so there is no uh, element at all. 
Okay, so let's move on. I'm a one number set take you the a pi. There is no transition, interestingly, so that's why there is a phi. I'm a one number state take you the b pi. The I am moving to my state two, so that can I'm a very kind of set two. Okay, so one take a uh, sorry, uh, one take you the epsilon pi. There is no transition, so that's why there is a empty set. Okay, so same thing goes on. Uh, two, two number state take a air juno no transition nine, so there is an empty set. Two number three as uh, uh, state take a I'm you the b pi the whole I'm moving to state three so that can two number state take I'm you the b pi that I'm moving to state three okay uh, two number state take a epsilon is you know corner transition nine okay and finally for the state three there are no transitions at all right so that's why a b m or epsilon for the you know there is an empty set so I can uh, if I combine this two so this is my transition diagram and this is my transition table a do take a x shathe amrat bolchi and nfa or non-deterministic finite automata okay so uh, this is the process of creating a regular expression uh, sorry creating a, a non-deterministic finite automata from regular expression the process is pretty simple we first create the transition diagram then translate the transition diagram to its equivalent transition table and these two uh, together is called uh, the non-deterministic finite automata okay all right so uh, this is uh, one task for you okay I, I have done an example for you uh, so this is a a bit complex regular expression and uh, this is the transition table uh, transition diagram and this is my transition table so the task for you is to verify if this uh, diagram and if this table are correct or not so after the kaj hoche check kora je amader ei table ta ebong diagram ta correct kina jodi correct na hoy kon jaygay bhul ache jodi correct hoy keno correct seta apnader ke explain korte hobe okay so this is a little task for you okay uh, and if, if you don't understand this or if you get confused somewhere we can talk about this in, my, in our next class okay and finally this is uh, three exercises for you as usual so uh, uh, you will create non-deterministic finite automata for uh, these three uh, regular expressions and you can uh, check them by me anytime okay uh, this is not uh, any official assignment or official task or anything uh, just do it yourself if you think you are not being able to then you can uh, consult me about it all right okay and uh, that's it for today i think we understood this uh, topic already because uh, you have uh, somewhat uh, touched this in theory of computing but still we have reviewed the uh, topics in uh, finite automata and non deterministic finite automata here uh, so I hope uh, you guys uh, don't have any confusion in here and thank you for watching this video